Welcome back, everyone, to the Light on Feed Podcast. This is episode 33, Biggest Gamer. Adam Moore. And today we're going to be going over Absolute Resonance. Yeah, we got a solo show. And it was a banger this week. Oh, yeah. We had some nice fights, some yeah. troll fights. I feel like it was more troll fights than nice fights. Actually, <laughs> that's true. But it was very good. I think we did 70 something chapters, something like that. We did 20 or... It was like... Or sorry, 20. I was thinking it's a whole different novel. I think it was. It's like 868. 868 to 8 or to 940. 868 to 72. We did a good, good amount of chapters for Absolute Resonance because it doesn't upload that fast. No. I think it uploads like, I don't know if it's four chapters. No, it's not four. I think it's one a day. No, I think it's four a week. Really? I didn't, I didn't think it was that small, short or Is it? slow. Is it a four a week or one a day? I can't remember. I think it's one a day because it's outpaced. Damn Reincarnation, and I know Damn Reincarnation is for a week. Oh, I'm confusing you with yeah. that one. Yeah. Damn Reincarnation, Sino just hit 300. 301. As of this morning. We'll look at that. We'll look at it. We'll yeah, see. We'll see. Because nine stars. I, like. I was about to say. It's like 110 yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. I think. Like, we got to. I was, gotta, we gotta have a make a decision here. Every day before we record, I get excited because I'm like, I can read a new novel. <laughs> because I know we got like a ton of chapters. Yeah, I read this so fast. Did you really? I read it in like two days. You know, I actually seen I was surprised. I actually read it very fast. Like one day, I went, I was at like 900 and like 15 and then the next day I finished it. Yeah. I was very surprised. I feel like, were the chapters shorter? I don't know. The pacing felt pretty fast. I feel like we're just, we're just going through everything. Yeah. That's true. I feel like there was a lot of all the things that like we just went through were all very hyped up events for like 200 chapters. So it kind of felt like the culmination of like a lot yeah, of things. Because we had the, the mission for the, the fruit. What was the name of the fruit? The sacred, sacred infant fruit. Yeah. Mm. Sacred infant fruit. And then the dragon head battle. Dragon head battle. Ox Bow Bow's recovery. Yeah. Um, dragon, I guess Dragon Head to, to get the Dragon Banner. Dragon Banner Head? Or Dragon, yeah, Dragon Banner Head. Yeah. Um, and then he was just training, like yeah, his training. sword art. Yeah, yeah, the training. And, and the, yeah, Li Jingping. Is that her name? I just said it, I don't remember. Ling Jing. Let's see. I think it's Ling Jing. Ling Jing, yeah, Li Ling Jing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was good. Uh, let's see. But we started off, so right now, right where we ended off, they were fighting, or they had just gone to the to the mountain where the sacred infant fruit was. Uh, and they no, ran. no, no, they weren't there, were they? Well, they got there when they got ambushed by what's-his-face. I don't think there was any fruits there, though. Well, that's where they thought it was. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And then, oh, because I don't remember how they thought, or how they th- why they thought, I think it was because he was trying to lure them over there. Zhao, the guy from the, oh, from heavily, the yeah, from the Heavenly Emperor Zhao bloodline. Mm-hmm. I was I actually want to look that up. Why it's called like when people with the surname Zhao, mm-hmm. if they have like a dynasty or like a bloodline, it's Zhao mm-hmm. or Zhao or something. Because you've noticed that, right? Yeah, yeah, we saw that for Keyboard Immortal, right? Keyboard Immortal mm-hmm. and there's other ones. Yeah, I think. Dragon Prince, you want my on it? Sure. Yeah, that's the Uh, But yeah, I, they definitely do. I don't know. I think it's the Z's. Especially Zhao. I don't know. Zhao, Zhao. Zhao, 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 yeah. Oh, I think they do it in um, Martial God Asura as well. Oh, yeah. Here, here. In that first, like, um, Bloodline family or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forget. I think it's the Zhao family. Yeah. But their names are, like, Zhu or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. But essentially, he lured them over there. Mm-hmm. He had this uh, harmony disabler. Yep. That should have been OP. It was a har- Oh, it was like a yeah. It's a, it was not a OP. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah. It's kind of OP. Uh, I say like it's in more... regular circumstances, it shouldn't be OP because oh. it's just like one on one fighting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just making the environment normal. But it's like Lulu was like so like handicapped versus everybody else that it's like. Yeah. It kind of feels okay because he's just not strong. Yeah. Oh, well, he wasn't strong. <laughs> yeah. But basically, they got over there. They found out he had a war to disable Harmony. Uh-huh. And before they even started fighting, 
true two true devils come out of nowhere. The the fat one and the red eye. I can't remember the name. If you were about to remember the names, I was about to praise you, bro. Cause I don't remember those names at all. No, cause I just can I cause sometimes like I just skipped over. I was like, oh, cause there's a fat true devil. Yeah. And then there's like I think it was red eye. I think it was red eye. I think it was the red eye true devil. And then. And then, were you surprised? They actually killed them. I thought they were like, and I, I, I knew they were gonna kill them, but I didn't think it would go that easy, you know. Well, cause they were, they were only first tier true devils. Yeah, yeah, but I thought the the soul leader devil was gonna like, like oh, pincer them. Yeah, yeah, like pincer them and like get them like gridlocked or something, right? And then like it didn't do that, and it like. I was like, what's happening? Like, she just oh, yeah. fed them? Like, she yeah, fed them? Yeah, right? that's true. That actually doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, or it doesn't make sense that that happened. Because I was just like, yeah, why would she just... But they explain it. You don't mm-hmm. remember? The Soul Eater, the True Devil... I don't remember, bro, but they explained it. They said Soul, the Soul Leader True Devil was um sent them out ahead of time for some reason that I cannot remember, bro. Why well, didn't explain it? Yeah, they did. They 100% did. No, there's no way they explained it. I, cause I just remember after what happened, they were fighting. Uh, Zhao, I think his name is Jing Yin. Mm-hmm. His his uh, whole harmony team was getting messed up. It sounded like saying. they lost like twenty percent of their their force. <laughs> I felt like thirty or forty, bro. They sounded like they were beaten down. My, yeah, that's man's true. lost both his arms, bro. <laughs> he got he was like, <laughs> he was like ah. That was actually <laughs> hilarious, bro. <laughs> He was running away. Where are my arms? <laughs> I don't know um, that, but actually, I didn't feel bad for him. Me neither. And <laughs> then, um, uh, Lilo came in clutch with the with the bow, mm-hmm. and the arrow shot with uh, the heavenly. I was gonna say heavenly. The the wolf power. Mm-hmm. I forget what's it the three three heads three wolf. Three tail three wolf. Three tail wolf. Okay, three tail. Mm-hmm. Um, and that bought some time to. To set up, set up the harmony. harmony. Uh, and then we get to the Soul Eater, the Soul Eater True Devil fight. And guys... It's not really a fight. It's, it's a troll. Alright, because this was set up for a minute. And like, they set up well and like everything went like... Well, it was not like, as expected. It was it was scary. It was scary. And then it wasn't when he was like, alright, I got the three-headed wolf, uh, or three-tailed wolf, and then the king power. And then the harmony. Ones. Oh, side note, that no, king he didn't power... Have, he didn't have harmony. Oh, yeah, that's true. But the king little... That king mark thing, I don't think it was ever mentioned before. He yeah, just... Was. I remember, like, he... When he first got that, that blade, it was given... Or not when he first got it, but, like, when he first used the blade, um, that Peng something... Peng Qion, I think is his name is. The king and the Jacques... The principal. Yeah, the principal. He's um the king and the... Jacques Kingdom. Jacques Kingdom. He sent over his power to that blade, and I thought it was a one-time use to like suppress the re- region. I don't, I didn't remember that it had like more like uses on it. Yeah. Um, it, it crashed. Did you did you know that it had more uses on it? I didn't know that. I I, I wasn't I wasn't made clear of that to be honest. I guess I wasn't. I didn't think it had run out because I thought because he never said it ran out. It just said he used it. But like, why would you think it had multiple uses? I want to know why you thought that because I didn't think that. Well, I just thought it was like an energy thing, right? Like okay. there's a certain amount of energy. Okay. And he just used it as a medium. Mm-hmm. And plus, it's not like he used the. Uh, they never said he specifically used the king energy. They just said he used. No, used they, it as a they used the king energy, or they used. They no, used, like because they used him as a medium to send energy, yeah. but he didn't like tell him because it, it wasn't like oh he used the energy in the thing and slashed at him. It was more like he just kind of possessed him and slashed at him. Uh, That's why I didn't think like oh the energy got used. So when they said, like, oh, there's still some energy left, I was like, yeah, of course there is. Ah, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> he, he just I thought it was an asshole, bro. I'm like, where's this energy? <laughs> like, he used it. I'm pretty sure that was the last one, right? 
I don't think there's any more. I don't, honestly, I feel like they didn't make it. First, he didn't even use it. He did? No, he didn't. What do you mean he didn't? I thought he didn't use it. He didn't end up using it. Yes, he did. I misread that, bro. You completely misread it. I, no, I explained, bro. She, she, what, what, remember what happened? So, the he set out the three-tailed wolf energy first. And she was like, ah, it's just one... Uh, one yeah, yeah. I, I ain't got to worry about it. Uh, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. when she tapped the power, she said... King energy! And then uh, she yes, fight, remember? Yes. And then... Slashed all his money and then... Uh, gave her hit, critical hit. So, so guys, I, I don't know if you know. I make the... Um, this is a little thing I have to say. I make the titles for the... This uh, little... The names for the sections of the videos. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you know, like two or three videos ago, I was like... Adam Moore taking over as historian. <laughs> I just lost that privilege. <laughs> uh, I was so bad. I can't believe I forgot that. There's literally right there. It was like, it's just like... You're right, 100%, but I forgot entirely about that. But then after that, he sends that king um, energy. Lee, um... Ling Jing. Ling Jing just straight up, like... I guess so, Lee Luo does, like, critical damage on the true devil. And then that allows Lee Ling Jing to, like, come and possess, like... Like... I guess she was kind of like an uh, inferior part of like the soul of the true devil because they kind of merged a bit and Li Ling Jing like took over as host. Well, because she, yeah, she had had her soul in the charm that she gave to Li Luo. Yeah. And then sent it right into the true devil's body. That's why I thought it was a little chill because it was like such a hard fight and it was like coming down to the king power and everything and then all of a sudden, boom, like she just takes over and then like. For that whole next chapter, I was I was like Lilua when I was like, can I trust you? Yeah, I really was. Real. I was not trusting her at all. I was like, she's gonna stab him in the back any second. <laughs> it wasn't until the next part where he gets his power up that I realized I was like, all right, she she's yeah, she's, she's in control because you know? of the tri-colored glass uh, glass body. So that was pretty cool. I, we kind of expected him to get it here, but like, this is not how I expected it to be honest. I don't know. I think I expected it to happen near the Sacred Infant Fruit. I thought he'd find, like, another item that was, like, just as good. And mm -hmm. I guess that's exactly what happened, but I guess the process was not... Was not, not the same. Yeah, not no. the same. I thought he'd kill, like, the Soul Leader True Devil, and then, like, he gets, like... He goes to his cave and he finds the good shit, right? Yeah. Instead, like, the Soul Leader True Devil, possessed by Li Ling Jing, like, basically, like gets all the goodies. I feel like they could have ransacked that area. I'm surprised they didn't, like, go harder. Well, there was nothing else. Well, in that one mountain. Oh. But how big is that area? There must be more cool stuff in there. Yeah, but these guys, like, oh, literally almost died. They're just running away now. I would have ran. I've been, like, give me the treasure chest and run. <laughs> I'm not looking for other treasure that I don't know if it's there or not. But she knows. She doesn't know. Li Lin Jing was literally, like, she, she kind of got, like, all the information from the true devil. Yeah, that's what she said. It's the only this is nearby. Ah, uh, but like I felt like in that area she could have got more stuff. I mean, maybe because she's kind of like the boss of that area now. Like no, none of the other others would have like interrupted her. Like, well, she, but they don't. Like her strength isn't the same, right? But they 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 kind of showed that like she might not have the same strength, but she's like because of like the aura, the aura, like everything was kind of just like fearful of her, like that that. That fire monkey, fire oh. monkey spirit. I don't know how strong it was, but I'm assu I think they made it seem that he was about to turn into a king, not yeah, like a king right. stage, but I think he was about to turn into like a fire like, like a monkey. King monkey, yeah, king monkey, and I think that was gonna be like him hitting the do stage, and like and he booked it, and then he booked it. So it seems like at least under Duke, like she was scaring everything, and then again, they should be able to handle anything else in that region. I I just thought they'd ransack some more goodies. They're not they're not like main house. I don't know. I feel like people were just too injured. And they were just There was scared. some injured. They were probably scared. Though. Yeah, they right. already accomplished them. They didn't even want to be there. They just accomplished That's true. Them. That's true. That's true. I, sometimes, do you ever get the feeling that, like, the banner works for Lee Luo and, like, he gets so many benefits and I feel like they get trash. <laughs> <laughs> A banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I think, I know they get stuff, but I feel like comparatively to him, like, it's so trash. He's a direct descendant, bro. Uh, I know. Like, I'm just thinking as one of the 8,000 members of his squad. Or 16,000? I think it's 8,000. 8,000? Uh, I think it is 8,000. I think out of all of them, like, I feel like they get, like, double or triple their resources. But, like, 
And that was probably fire, but like, when you just hear about what he gets, you're just like, <laughs> damn, like, my stuff is ass. I think it's supposed it, it, it makes sense, yeah. though. It he's, makes sense. He's like, he's the beta leader and he's the grandson of yeah. the chief. Yeah. And, oh, there's also something I needed to, to uh, I'll point it out. Actually, I'll point it out here that you were kind of right about, I think we were both kind of right. Because I don't remember if you remember, like, last time we talked about Absolute Resonance. I said that they didn't have like a former like a like a title for the dragon banner leader of the each, oh. like lineage, but they do. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they give them any rewards. It's, no, they just say like you have to your title. be the leader. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I was saying that like there's not an actual title and there's no rewards, and you were like there is a title and you don't know if there was rewards. And so I think there there definitely is a title. There's just no rewards. More rewards yeah. <laughs> More responsibility. No extra stuff. Yeah. And then, so, we get the sacred infant fruit for Ox Bao Bao, and then Lu Leo gets his power up, and he becomes a tri-color glass. Is that how yeah. you pronounce tri it? tri-color glass feet body. <laughs> feet glass body. Glass feet body? <laughs> that was actually so perfect. You were like, such. that was such a long name, which is why I laughed, bro. <laughs> tri-color glass feet general... <laughs> What is? What's the whole name? I'm pretty sure it's tricolor the glass fiend body. Fiend body in the should be in the Earth general. Is it Earth general? Earth fiend general tier. Yeah. <laughs> What's there's another tier after, right? The fiend finisher. That's fiend what finisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the tiers for that. I don't think we. There's no tiers. It is based off of the height of your fiend finisher power. Oh, so you're like right. I think. They said a little later in the next thing we're going to get to that Lee King Fang had like 900 feet of Fiend Finisher energy or maybe 950 and I, I don't know what's the cap on it. It seems like probably a thousand of these like at 950. So just keep going until you can't. Until nine, you can't and anymore. Then move on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was how we finished the other thing. We got Lee Ling Jing. So she's actually in possession of her own body yeah I, I was she's in her own body in the true now devil, she is yeah and she has like a true devil infestation in her right yeah but when she left the the other area she was looking like an other only once she like reunited with her body does she look like herself yeah okay okay because i was a little confused on that so now she looks like herself she just has the other inside of her mm -hmm. okay and we come back and we actually get the city lord coming back with us and we find out he's only a fifth stage duke which i thought was whack <laughs> fifth stage dude no bro cause he has he was they were saying that like other like tiny town lords around him were like fourth stage dudes and like I guess I I guess that oh I see what you mean they're just they're yeah they're only in fourth stage time. it's like you're only in fifth stage yeah exactly <laughs> but I guess it makes it kind of clarifies or highlights how big the difference in each bird fruit is so I guess there is that you know it shows like I guess as a fifth tier duke, you really can't just say you're just fourth tier dukes. Like, not everybody can fight across levels like that. Yeah, I don't know. I still now that now that you say that, I actually think it's why. What? Because if he was saying like third tier, yeah, I don't understand. Be like, be like, yeah, because you know that's the that's the first extreme. Right? Yeah. You know how they always talk about threes and nines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, first extremes you got uh -huh. for lower, middle, uh, middle, upper. Yeah. But they're like. We're both middle, but just a tier under me. Yeah, I was like, All right, you understand? I'm like, just like in cultivation novels, yeah. and city lords, and y'all. I can understand, like, yeah, it's a little tough, but like, if the four of them rip up, they'll probably kick your ass. They probably whoop you, bro. <laughs> and it's like, so you shouldn't be uh, disrespected out yeah, here, man. I honestly, I'm holding that statement until we reach Duke, and they're just like, yeah, the difference are crazy. I just like, all right, fine, we'll take back what we said about the city lords. And until then, I'm holding. Same way you know what? I bet you they're not going to say it because it's not going to matter for Lilo anyway. He's going to hit jump ranks. Wait, you think? Oh, he's going to definitely jump ranks. But I think that... I think they have kind of highlighted how big the difference in each level is. But, like, sometimes, unless you, like, see, like, Duke's fight, it doesn't really cement it, you know? There's only so many times you can say it without me seeing a fourth stage Duke stomp for third stage dudes, you know? Yeah, like, just let me, just, let me see you win a 1v4. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, all right, all right. Then I'm like, okay, this power level is crazy. Yeah. Not like when there's other novels when they're like, there's early, mid, um, 
late tier, and then there's a peak tier that's yeah. like a sub tier, and like if you're a peak tier, you can fight four high um late tiers. I hate that. that. <laughs> I'm like it's the same level, bro. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. The difference sense. between eight, eight and nine. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, how is it that like there's like four of you and you can't beat the next one? <laughs> that's when I realize it's OP. But you know, until then, I'm not seeing it. Yeah. But uh, also we want to do a side note. Lee Ling Jing is not the daughter, but like a very she like a niece, or a niece of one of the Green Hall Masters. Yeah, one of the Green. Oh, oh, Hall Lee Ru Ruyan. Yeah, Lee Ruyan, which is like she's not a direct descendant. She's from like kind of the same lineage from like that. Well, city. that's all her whole. Like, that's like her family. Yeah, that's like her area that she grew up in. Yeah, where the others are, and she's like the strongest representative from there. And it's kind of sad that, like, Lee Lin Jing has, like, the power to, like, surpass her. Yeah, she had the talent. The talent, yeah, sorry, the talent. So we make it back to the Dragon Fang lineage. And we were kind of confused. We were wondering if Lee Lin Jing was going to get purged by Lee Jingzi. Is that how you say his name? Yeah. Because Lee, Lee Jingzi is Lee Luo's grandpa, also the king stage. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting some funny, funny business. What you mean? Like, she's gonna come out of nowhere and just with the Karsha thing. And, and then we're just gonna be like. <gasps> we forgot a, a big point. What? The Soul Eater True Devil. Oh, was a variant. Yeah. Man made. Yeah, it's a man made. And it seems like we got a little. We, didn't, we don't know who it is, we don't know where he is. But there's nine, or there was nine, variant man-made true devils, and the soul leader was killed. Yeah, variant three. Variant three, and so one, one, two, and then four to nine, like, where are they, what are they doing? That's going to be a plot point later. I bet your nine is a, is a person that we know. Yeah. That's a prediction right there. Number mm -hmm. nine is a person we know. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a guess? I have no idea. <laughs> That's my guess. I know who it's not anymore. Um, the gold banner leader, the guy that I was suspecting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, dang, fix, fix you. Then fix him. Dang, this is his name. Yeah, dang. that guy. Guys, I was wrong. I crossed him off. Oh, I remember that. I told you. I was like, "There's no way. I, he's just, he's just a lackey." Yeah, bro. but I thought, I thought he had more in him, bro. He was too nice. What do you mean he was too nice? What do you mean he just, he just like let somebody come in his territory, fight him fairly for something, he lost, and he keeps on going about his business? That never happens in Usha World uh, yeah, that's true. He yeah. did do that. But everyone else is trying to do the same thing, so you can't just have him do it as well. That's true. I like the uniqueness. Yeah, me too. I didn't think he was so nice. He's a nice guy. Well, actually, we don't know yet. There could be a betrayal later. But, but I believe I'm him. I'm signing on him. Bro. Uh, you know what? I did a 180, guys. <laughs> he's going with Lee Luo to the end. Yeah, me too. I told you. I, was, I believed it until the end. I was like, you're right. he's the type that will recognize strength. Uh, you were right. Um, well, I think you're right. I think you're right. I know I'm right. Yeah, I, I believe him, bro. He's looking like... He's looking like... like a, I feel like he's going to turn the tables in the next arc. Oh, 100%. I think he's going to come in clutch. Yeah, yeah. But before we get there, we gotta get to the Dragon Head Banner fight. Well, just, is there something in between? We did got we gotta at least say what happened to Lee Oh, <laughs> we just we so oh I thought we talked about I forgot because when I said the variant three it went over my head. Yeah, but basically, I mean basically he Jing Z he just used uh like a I don't know if it was a secret art. No, he used one of his um like tools. Oh yeah, tool that lets you see corruption. So like basically. She, oh, he used the secret art to see the corruption. Yeah, she turned transparent, yeah. and they saw the corruption like was tied deeply to her soul, and then they basically put her in a. Then he a, used this tool. Yeah, a fire like a dragon. Fire. So it's it's like a sword dragon yeah. fire thing that. <laughs> fire dragon sword. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> fire dragon sword. Uh, something. Furnace or something. Yeah, and he. He basically cooks them a lot. Yeah, he's just cooking away her corruption. And then he throws Lilu in there. I love that part. He was just like, yeah, you can help with your sword intent. Chucks him in there. Like, <laughs> and then the author was like, yeah, chucks him as he's screaming. <laughs> because, and he's like, so in my head I imagine, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bro. And especially because Lilu was trying to run. He was like, yeah. no, I'm all set. And yeah, he's I like, it. Lee Jinx, he was like, man, you don't know how many people would wish to be in here. You're, yeah. you're getting thrown in here. <laughs> And they described it as literal hell. 
But you know, they got burned alive. Um, <laughs> casual, casual Wednesday in the world of corrupt of uh, cultivation. Yeah. Um, That's actually classic. It really is. City on fire. Yeah, and then um, he actually Lilo gets to gets fifty sword intents. I think it was what 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 it was. I think so, yeah. He he acquired he like cultivated fifty sword intents, and it seems like Lee. Ling Jing is gonna be free from the corruption. They yeah. said that she's gonna go through a, like a month long cleansing. And she went, she got a crazy power up. Mm-hmm. Um, Six pro? Seven, I think. So they said seven pro originally, but in the last chapter they called her a six pro. No, I think they said she can. Six pros. So I got confused by that too, but. You I, saw that, right? You know what I'm talking about? So, but I think that it's more like you see their typo, mm-hmm. or they were saying like six pros is like just the peak. And it just, the sentence was written a little weird. Because I, I swore they said she was a 7 That's pro. That's I, I, I swore the same thing. And then, like, chapter 939, they call her, like, a, she has a 6 pro battle power. Pro, yeah. And I was like, mm. Something's not right. right yeah. Yeah. But either way, she's, uh, she's, um, she's strong. She's upper. She got her, her talent back, which I'm actually surprised. Ninth grade resonance. And, oh, and she got a ninth grade resonance. So before she had an upper 8th or a quasi 8th. It was ninth, ninth, and, she, and it got upgraded to a lower ninth rank resonance, which we found out there's three ranks in, yep. in lower ninth rank. middle, upper. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming Jane Kinger, she has dual upper ninth. I'm saying Easy, right bro. I, I think the exact same thing. There's no way she doesn't. Yeah, gonna She's going to have the triple nines, bro. Yeah, I know. Triple oh nines. my god, she is going to have triple nine. As soon as she hits Duke, bro, she's literally going to become like the goddess of light. I'm at, yo, imagine <laughs> she's going she's to be light all the way. Yeah. I think I think once she becomes a Duke, she'll become... They'll start calling her like the saints of light. Yeah. And once she becomes king, a king, they're going to call her the goddess of light, bro. Nice. Like, they have to give her some crazy name. Yeah. Like the Queen of Light or something, bro. Cause she's like, she's gonna have triple nine, bro. And that's all I heard of. And I, I, then again, that's all speculation. We don't know. No, I believe it though. Yeah, hundred percent. She feel like it's like I feel like it's just being written for us right yeah, now. Yeah, like she's been known to be that girl. And then um, so they get corrupted, but actually, or they get the cleansing. Um, and before we go, or well, actually, and then we, you want to talk about the the Lotus. Cultivation? Oh, yeah. This is like a crazy OP tool that he has. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jinx, he has. Yeah. He has a Heavenly Throne Lotus. Or Lou Jinxie, sorry. And it's Lee Jinxie. Is it Lee or Lou? Lee. Lee? Lou is the Golden Dragon Bank. For Lou. Lee, sure? Yeah, Lou. Lee Luo. Yeah, yeah, so it's Lee Jinxie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um... So, Heavenly... Lotus oh, I mean, Throne. Yeah. Heavily... Lotus, Lotus Throne. I think it might, it might be a Lotus Throne. Okay. But um, basically, if you ignite a Lotus, mm-hmm. it, it cl- basically clears all your mind. It's like the perfect cultivation spot. Mm-hmm. Your mind's cleared and you 100% focus on a task. Mm-hmm. Rather than like when you're outside, it's like other factors are always hindering you. So, it's Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he pretty much... Um, Took what like what half a year's work, and did it in a month. Yeah, it was insane. I think it was a year's worth to be honest. Actually, it was because he was just doing the sword art. He was doing like all these pseudo dugards. Yeah, to like create like, yeah. Pseudo-dugards. So we actually also got him. We we didn't really get a number. I think it was like ten. I don't know if they even did a number or did they just say a bunch of like how many pseudo dugards he learned. He had like three. I thought it was three. I thought they said way more. Because I know he used three in a fight later. Oh. But I thought he learned, like, a large amount. Did he? I don't know. They didn't specify, though. That's what yeah, that's, okay. why I, that's why I thought it was three. But maybe there were more. Okay, because later on he does use them. He only uses three. But I, I think they said multiple. But then again, three is multiple. I don't know. Yeah. And then, um, so he learns, like, a couple of pseudo Dukards, number unconfirmed. And he learns his transcendent Dukard. He gets, um... He gets the water light uh, sword. sword. Oh, and also he got two dragon fang essence from the, the oh, fangs. Oh, from the dragon fangs, yeah. And he got two dragon essence drops, um, which is pretty lucky. I think that's what we guessed. We said two, right? Yeah. There's like, there's no way he's getting just one. He got lucky. And then, um, Li Lingjing actually gave him a, a way to like make them like better. 
and like it was kind of like such a little asshole. Oh, it was so funny too. Cause <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, there's a way to, to there's a whole technique to ensure." Or not unsure, but like to increase the higher chance. Yeah. And he was like, oh, thank you. And then when he told, and Jesse was like, yeah, you need a king for this. And he was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> and then he looked at him and he's like, you scammed me. <laughs> because without a king, how else would yeah. I be able to do this? And how much are kings worth? <laughs> he was like, 30 million gold. But at that point, what's the point in even asking? Because you might as well just buy straight up essence. Yeah, that's true. Because like... Who's got kings on command? They're yeah. just like, hey, hey, grandpa, can you help me out? <laughs> like, nobody. Yeah. I didn't even put that together, yeah, bro. Oh, uh, that, was a, that, that, that was funny. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed kings that on one. command. Yeah. No, kings on demand, bro. <laughs> kings on demand. It was perfect. Um, and then we get Jian King Yang. Is that his name? Oh yeah, we, we, King we, she gave a little appearance. Yeah, we got like two or three chapters of her. Yeah, so basically she's fighting through, so there's a lower and upper hall in the college. And she's in the astral, the Heavenly Origin Astral College. Heavenly Origin Corson College? Actually, it's not Corson. I thought there was like a C in there somewhere. I don't remember. Well, it's a Heavenly Origin uh, College. Mm -hmm. It is the number one, or longest standing college, and it's also number one. Of the astral colleges in the yes. inner divine continents. It's the foundation of the feather, academic federation. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, she beat an opponent number 97. Mm -hmm. I don't know his name, side character, okay. forever forgotten, rest yeah. in peace. You're a nice can of fodder. <laughs> yeah, true. And she beat him up. And he was at the heavenly, he was at the greater heavenly resonance stage. And she was at the lesser heavenly resonance stage. Yeah. So, a quick. Explanation of the heavenly general stage is so after the the fiend general stage Which or the earth fiend general stage you that's so at the end that's Lilo is running out of the triglass or the glass stage Then it goes fiend finisher and then you become a heavenly general. Yeah, heavenly general it goes the, the Heavenly pearl stage one through nine. You don't have to reach nine But that's like that as the deeper you go the deeper your foundation mm -hmm. then you go to the lesser resonance stage and then you get become a greater heavenly resonance stage, and then you become a duke. Yeah. And she was a lesser heavenly resonance stage. We don't know how deep in that stage she's in, or like how that stage works. Nope. But she beats a heavenly, a greater heavenly resonance stage, mm -hmm. which is very impressive. Also, like I think it's a part of her cultivation art. Like she needs victories or something. Like the more she beats people, like the stronger. I, I think it's like the. The more like it's like some type of energy that she gets like so i think it's a mantra like yeah it evits it like a mantra of invincibility oh like um like the dao of like the undefeatable unde dao. undefeatable dao from like nine star yeah something like, like that i don't think i don't think she can't lose but like the more she wins yeah the stronger sure. she gets so i think that's part, part of the reason why because he was like oh like you should wait until you reach the greater heavenly resonance stage and you're like you'll for sure beat me and she's like no then there's no point to this battle Mm -hmm. Then we got that random, that other random, like number, he's within the top 10 of that Astral College. I think he's three. I didn't remember if they said his number. He might be three. He might. He might I, 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 all I know is he's definitely within the top 10. Yeah. And he's trying to like gain favor because they're about to go on like some mission. Yeah. And Gian Kenya is like, I'm all set. And then she, she throws out some crazy bomb. Yeah. She's like, I have a feeling. Do you remember it? But she goes harder than that. Oh. She goes way harder than that. Oh, yeah, she said. Yeah. You, you know what I thought. All, in my opinion, all other people in my eyes are worthless. Yeah. And that's when I was like, oh, that's yeah. crazy. And then in her head, she's like, Li Luo, I set up some nice cannon fodder for you once you get here. Oh, my God. I'm excited. <laughs> Imagine having a girl like that, bro. She sets you up to have to give hands at all times. <laughs> It's like, if you can't handle these guys, then why, then why are you my man? Yeah, it's like, like, she's like, you got it. But then at the end, she was like, but if you don't, I got it. And yeah. I was like, damn. That's, uh, girl, that's girl boss talk. That is definitely girl boss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I love her, bro. And still, I stand. She better, I know it won't happen, but I want her to be stronger than Lilu the whole novel. There is a chance, man. She could be like the real main character. You think so? There's no Man, way. She gets triple nines with light, bro. I don't know. Well, he can get he can get more than her. Because he already has triple. 
she doesn't have triple. So when she becomes a duke, unless she gets one at the heavenly greater resonance stage, she'll she'll get her third at duke stage. Lilo will get his fourth. Oh. So he'll always have one more, and like he's he also can hit like quadruple nines because his are like can infinitely be powered up by liquid yeah, light. That's true. So like sooner or later she's gonna surpass. I want it to be as late as possible. Yeah. Like at the heavenly emperor stage or something, bro. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Um, we also kind of found out after this promotion battle, actually during the cleansing from Lee Jingzei, some information about the uh, the Origin Reversal Institute. Is that what it's called? Origin Reverse Institution Institute. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they um they've been around for so long. They've been around supposedly since the beginning of like known history. Yeah, that's what everyone's saying. I was like, damn. I so, didn't think they were that around so, for that long. So there's no heavily emperor bloodline longer. Not even the academic federation's been along this around. And they said, if I'm remembering correctly, that the um, the Origin Reversal Institute actually took down the heavily emperor bloodline. Yeah. Like I think the heavily emperor, well, they didn't take down the heavily emperor. I think no, the they heavily. Did. Oh, they killed him? They said, like, they had a hand in... His death? I think so, yeah. All they did with his aide or something, his trusted aide. Yep. And then they, like, kind of ambushed him or something. They didn't go to specifics, but they got him, and they wiped out his whole bloodline, which is savage. Because mm -hmm. they're, like, kind of the big powers in the world that we know of, at least right now. We don't know anybody stronger than that. They have yeah. bloodlines. So that, that took me for a shock, bro. Yeah, it means they're in deep right they're now. Deep. That's why I said number nine is someone we know. Yeah, and Lee Jingzei, but at least Lee Jingzei did say at the end, like, they are in the shadows, and the reason they're in the shadows is because they can't, like, fight they against can't, the world. Yeah, they can't take on everyone. Yeah. But I also left me confused, because I was like, if you guys have been around for so long, what happened there? And if you took it on Heavenly Upper Bloodline, what also happened there? Oh, it's definitely a big question mark, so we'll, we'll find out more later. Yeah. Once we're, like, Lilo was stronger, he knows more, like, information about the world. Yeah, imagine when he becomes a duke. Like, there's, like, because I feel like with people are in this world, I imagine it's like once you have a certain level of strength, then you'll be given a certain amount of information. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And we also find out a little timer update. Lilua has about three years left to live. Three years? That's crazy. He's making great time. He is, because he only has one stage left. The act, well, he has, yeah, technically. He's, at he's the, in the Fiend Finisher, yeah. and then he only needs the Heavenly General stage. Yeah, that's true. Well, then again, it, it kind of seems like the Heavenly General stage takes like a lot longer. Because well, there's Pearl and Lesser and Greater, yeah. so there's three sub-stages. But it's quicker than the Earth Fiend General. There's a ton. The Fiend Palace, and then the Fiend Body that's split into three. So there's four, and then the Fiend Finisher, there's five. There's mm -hmm. five sub-stages. And so we get to, after all that stuff, Lilo prepares for a couple days. He got his... His um, he hits the peak of Tri Glass. He hits um, he's ready to go to the Dragon Head competition. He's had he has his cultivation arts all maxed out. He's ready to go. We start the Dragon Head competition. You want to describe the how it goes? Yeah. So there's it's basically two parts. Mm -hmm. The classic like, you know, endure as much as you can. Go as far as you can. Oh, I do too. They like. I, I don't. I never get tired of them. Me either. Bro. As many times as I see it, I'm like, let me see the indomitable spirit. Yeah. <laughs> no, let, me, let me see the hype. Yeah. Exactly. This is the hype builder, right mm -hmm. here. So it, and it hype. works every time. It does. <laughs> it does. I'm just like, yes, sir. <laughs> it's a trope that I will never lo not love, bro. <laughs> never not love. And it always gives you surprises. It does. It does. So we had the obviously we uh, kingpin mm -hmm. ping. He was first, or er, King Fang. King Ping. Is it King Ping? I think it's King Fang. Uh, you might be right. I wrote his name in here. Lee King Fang. Yeah. Uh -huh. King Fang. So he got to twenty nine thousand seven hundred. Got there first. Uh -huh. Then Lee Lu Mei. That's her name. The girl. Uh, I know you're talking about. I think that is not her name. Did my phone do that? Um. Lee Jing Tao. No, no, sorry. That. Lee That's King May. King May. Yeah. Okay, I was close. Yeah, yeah. Um, she hit 29,680 feet. 800. What? 29,680. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Never mind. I you said 800. I was like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I messed up my numbers. No, but, no, yeah. Um, 
So those were the two strongest. I thought Seals Cup was better, bro. No, but that's like the. That, that's the um. The barrier. Well, the barrier is twenty nine thousand seven hundred. Yeah. And she didn't even hit it. And like they kind of gave her a little reason why, because I think if you're not part of the direct descendant like bloodline, you like face more pressure. Yeah, you do. And so that's why they were like, oh, if she was part of the bloodline, she'd probably be better than Lee King Fang. But like, I just want her to be. I want her to be better. I want her to stomp him, bro. She was never gonna stomp him. Never gonna stomp him. And we get the surprise. We got Tortoise Boy. Tortoise Boy. <laughs> I love Tortoise Boy, bro. <laughs> Jing Tao. Jing Tao, man. Yeah, so basically he cultivated his own uh, body art. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the name? No. I do not remember the name either. Um, to the extreme. But it's like different. He cultivated fully defense. Like his body is made to like not take pain. Mm -hmm. But like if he throws a punch, it's not going to be like earth shattering. It's just like he has no strength. It's like he just... It's like he's literally a turtle shell. Like, if I smash a turtle shell on someone's head, like, sure, it might hurt. But if I punch a turtle shell, I'm not breaking that thing. Oh, no, for sure not. <laughs> so it's like... Li per tur turtle shell is literally a perfect analogy for him. I want to find out what his... um, What it's uh, called. Because his art... And they called, It was a special art that, like... It's the only... Or I think it's the best offensive art in... um. In, in the whole lineage. Yeah. Or the whole bloodline, I think. Yeah. And he was, like, one of few people who cultivated it. Yeah, and, like, it's... It was, I think he hit the fourth stage out of eight. Yeah, something like that. If I remember correctly. And this is the last chapter or paragraph I'm going to look at. And... Oh, right here. Found it. The eight carapaces art. Oh, okay. And he hit the fourth stage on it. And it's, um... I guess their best body tempering art in the Dragon Fang lineage. Oh, the dragon man. Okay. Yeah. Well, he made it to twenty nine thousand seven hundred and ten feet. Mm -hmm. Literally just stepped over the guy and was like, "Doop!" And he, ran back. He, he was a real one though. <laughs> he was like, "Oh yeah, you're right." Because he said, "Let me test it out for third brother." Yeah. And I was like, "That's that's so sweet." Yeah. Man. And then he was like, "Ah, oh, shit! I'm running <laughs> away. This it hurts." <laughs> He's like, "This is why I'm lucky." <laughs> Well, I was very impressed by him. Yeah. Even though they did say like him being defensive is like like the sole reason he got higher than everybody else, but like hey, defense works. Man. Defense works, bro. It's it's needed. It's part of the fight. Yeah, definitely not main character type, but he's needed, you know. And um, then we finally get Lee Luo climbing, and Lee Luo climbing was pretty dope. Yeah. So he broke through to fiend finisher while he was climbing. Mm -hmm. And then instantly, did they say his feet? 400 yeah, like that. he instantly has 400 feet and we're not 100 percent sure but off of the um the information that lee king fang hit 950 i believe it is we're assuming that at least i'm assuming that a thousand is the cap yeah something like that yeah so 400 pretty deep into it he's almost halfway into the stage and then right when he got up he matched the pace for all three of them mm -hmm. And towards the end, when the dragon forms, because the dragon, how it works is the dragon forms when they hit the barrier. The and, ninth dragon. And it tries to press you back. And what he did was, instead of, like, enduring through it, he used his sword art, and he was like, yeah. killed that bitch. Yeah. Killed like the spirit. It. Went right through it, because it's, it's a spirit entity, yeah. so it, like, has some intelligence yeah. trying to stop you. And he gets the ultimate prize at 30k, when he hits 30 feet. He gets his the full nine sanctified body art, I believe it's called. Yeah, right? nine scale sanctified body. Nine art. scale sanctified body art, which leads us to the second part of the dragon head banner, um, dragon banner head fight. Which is one on ones, so you have to, it's eight one on ones, yeah. and so it's random, random. Yep, yeah. and so you have to win as many as you can. Yeah, every fight you win, you get a scale, mm -hmm. um, which you use to assimilate with yourself. Uh, for your foundation, for yeah. your for your skill, the nine sanctified dragon body art. Yeah, well, everyone else has the sanctified scale sanctified body art. Yeah, but depending but, on how good you did on the yeah, the you climb, get a certain amount. you yeah. get there's a there's a limit on you on how yeah. many you can get. One through nine, and only one person. Or actually, I don't think technically they never said only one person. 
I think multiple of the people have gone on the nine scale. Well, I'm saying like only one because usually they've never said if two people have ever hit thirty feet. So that's why I'm like saying uh, only whoever hits thirty thousand feet gets the nine yeah. scale sanctified body. Right? Maybe there's been other times that multiple Physique. or like a couple people have gone in. The first well, side note, that was so dramatic how you said it. Physique. <laughs> well, it's not a body art. <laughs> that was so funny to <laughs> you say that like that. But, like, if I think if two people hit 30,000, I think they kind of showed it in, like, this later when we're about to talk about it, is that, like, they'll set up the battle so that, like, on the eighth final battle, they'll make the people, like, if two people have hit 30k and they have the ability to hit nine scales... Like, they'll make them fight each other for the A scale. Yeah, so, like, only one person will actually have the ability to hit nine scales. And then they just have to work for it later. Yeah. And yeah. so, we got one-on-one -on -one fights. My favorite was Lee Jing Tao. He said, I'm not, I don't have any ambition. He literally just turned... He just went for draws each time. So, he just got eight yeah. draws and four scales. Yeah, they split him in half. If you get a draw, he's like, I'm content with my four scales. Which is crazy, because he literally has eight scales. Yeah. I thought he would, like, turtle until the last possible second. And, and then, then like, beat punch. Him up. Yeah. yeah. But, like, he didn't even do that. He's like, I am content with nothingness. <laughs> and then we get, um... We didn't see his sister, the second sister. Lee Fing. Fing Meng. Fing. She was solo. So yeah, the, I, she probably got like... It was, it was kind of pointless. Yeah, she was kind of forgotten. She probably got two scales, hit four. Yeah, man, something like that. Oh, I actually just want to say, this, the the sanctified, nine scale sanctified body is like the foundation for literally everyone in the lineage. Yeah. And, and, and the not the lineage, audience. in the heavenly bloodline. Yeah, that's true. So everyone has it. In this heavenly bloodline. Right, not, yes. not the other ones. Yes, this no. one. Yeah. Have, that, this heavenly emperor elite bloodline. Mm -hmm. So everyone has it. And has it. Everybody has? Well, not everyone has nine, but everyone has a form of it. Oh, okay. And you have to build it up to get to nine. I thought only the dragon heads, because all dragon heads get the sanctified body art, and then depending on their scale, they'll get one through nine. But I thought only, like, those 20 people got it. And then, like, once you hit the dragon guardians, you get, like, you can get some of it. But I didn't think, like, everybody had it. Or you well, think it's, like, a prerequisite, like, as soon as you hit the dragon guardian, they'll give it to you. No, 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 I'm saying, like, they all have a form of it, mm. and you can, you, like, have, um, well, my words, my, my, <laughs> my brain just stopped working there, <laughs> well, you can make uh, contributions to, like, to, get, get, your to get more resources, yeah. more skills. Okay, so, so you're thinking once you hit, because it, it's been pretty clearly shown, like, throughout these, like, last 70 chapters, that after the Dragon Banner, you get promoted, like, once you, like, kind of graduate, you go to the Dragon Guardians. Mm -hmm. So, are you thinking that everybody in the Dragon Guardians has that, the Sanctified Body Art? Yeah. Just depending on how many skills they have? Yeah. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood, because, like, I know in the banners, only the top 20, so all the banner heads have the ability to get it. And then once you hit the Dragon Guardian, they probably give it to you. I think they said five. I, I, yeah, you're, Is you're that right. what they said? I think they said up to, up to five, or something like that. Yeah. So, I think they can all get up to five in the Dragon Guardians. And so, and like, yeah, you can get more skills. So, and then, so we get all the one-on-one -on -one fights. I'm happy they skipped over most of them. I thought we were going to get some, like... Keyboard on Mortal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just like, you watch some two random people you've never seen before. before. Yeah, yeah. And I, bro, there's nothing that gets me as uninterested as watching two randos have a boring fight. Because I can see two randos have an entertaining fight. I love it, bro. Yeah. You show me something I've never seen, I'll enjoy it. But you give me the same thing I've seen all the time on Reefy, I'm going to be like, skim. <laughs> so we got two, the two key fights. Um, which one do you want to go? You want to take the first one or the second one? I'll do the first one. All right, so we got... King May. King May. How you like that? That one was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> It was an actual fight mm -hmm. before we get to that next one. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> um, well, they were pretty even. If anything, I thought she was winning. Mm -hmm. and, Me too. Until he was like, sword art. Boop. Beat her up. That sword art was so deep, bro. Did they say he used the sword art? Yeah, he, he hit it in the, um, in the sacred, uh, in the black dragon. Ah, they, 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 so they, they, they. that's, 
That was like the thing. He, I don't, which I think is also OP. So you can just hide it and no one can see yeah. it. Yeah. So he hid this. He hid the sword in the manor. So when their powers clashed, it caught her off guard um, and injured her. Yeah, she was like, uh, I don't know if I'll win or if I lose, but I'll probably lose. So I'll give up here. Yeah. So. Well, I think she was just too hurt. Yeah. Uh, I kind of got the feeling that she could have kept going, like drawn out that fight, but she was like, well, they probably could have dropped, like, yeah, like she. I think she was just too hurt to think she would have won. Oh, okay, okay. I, it made it more seem to me that it was like a slight to medium injury, and she like could have fought a lot longer, like uh, at a decent health, but was like, I'm gonna just give up here instead of having her drawn off. Yeah. Or, or how how injured do you think she was? Thirty five percent. All right, I was thinking right around there. Okay. And then we get the ultimate fight for the A skill. <laughs> the ultimate fight. <laughs> We shouldn't actually say it, not the ultimate fight. Uh, <laughs> it was the ultimate fight. Okay. So we finally get the confrontation we've been wanting since Li Luo gets here. He fights Li Kingfing for the Dragon Head Banner position. Yep. And they're going at it. They're about to start fighting. The most ultimate peak battle we've seen to date. And Li Kingfing is like, F all that. I am going for the most cheese, <laughs> the most cheese battle lord I know to decide victory, and I have no understanding why because he's uh, a have a, a pro stage, pro yeah. resident stage. He's two, duo pro. No, he has one stage, one pro. I think. What? He, he two. He has one pro, but he can create a second pro with his blood art. Oh. That's yeah. Oh, okay. So actually, they did fight for like five seconds. They did like one quick clash, Li Luo and Li King Fang, and after that, Li King Fang was like, "I'm gonna stake it all on this." And he uses the famous, the infamous, the infamous Dragon Blood Judgment art, bro. Take it away, bro. <laughs> so how this art works is they measure. I love this art, bro. They measure both parties' bloodlines. And that it, it only works on the, the density of your Heavenly Emperor. Like yeah. Lee bloodline. Yeah. So he was like, obviously the dragon blood lineage, they're famous for having like the most concentration in your blood, in their bloodline. Uh -huh. And this is the art they use to like suppress all the other lineages. Uh -huh. But, um, or how the artwork is like, okay, so yeah, whoever has the most blood, the other party loses half their blood. And the other person doesn't take it or anything. They None. just they just uh, it's it's blood loss. Yeah, so it's fifty percent blood loss, which is damaging. Yeah, you're, you're 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 done for. Yeah. I mean, I think most people pass out in real life if you lose half. Or they might even die. I think they're probably. I think they're dead. Yeah, they're probably dead. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. I was like, no, you're probably dead. Yeah, you're probably dead. <laughs> um, but uh, he used it on Li Luo, mm -hmm. and you know we were they were, po he was posturing so hard he was like. Just give up, bro. It's over for you. I got the dub. You can yeah, for real, bro. <laughs> I got. You can. You, you can, can't even compare to me. Yeah, and then he hit the art, and he was like, six hundred oh. feet. He was like, oh yeah, he's six hundred. Six hundred. He had six hundred. He had six hundred, and then he's like, what's going on? And then he just. No, he knew he had six hundred. I think. Oh yeah. But he was like, you might as well give up. My bloodline is unsurpassable. <laughs> and then we got Lee Lil's bloodline. A thousand feet. Which is the peak. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a perfect Heavenly Emperor Lee bloodline, uh, which will come into play later, I imagine. Yeah. Um, and so he lost 50% of his bloodline. Lee King Fang. And everyone looked at him like, what the... I don't, think it, going on? I don't think it damages his like bloodline purity, though. I think he just loses no, blood. No, he just lost blood. And like once he gets it back, it'll be fine. Yeah. But like... Then that fight was over. It was and just, it was just, it, was a, it was just a clown show after. Lilo was, was like, uh, "Did he throw it to me on purpose?" Yeah, he was like, do you? and then after Lee Kingfin was just like kind of standing there, Lilo was like, "So do you want to continue?" <laughs> and Lee Kingfin is like, "Yeah, let's go." And then Lilo starts running at him, and he just drops on the ground. He beat him. He just beat him raw. And then I don't even think he even hit him. Did he hit him once? Yeah, they, yeah no, they fought for a bit. I thought they, like, they he hit him, like, one time, maybe, yeah. and then he just fell unconscious. No, 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 they were fighting, and then he just passed out. Really? Yeah. I missed that. Well, like, he hit him hard enough. I was enough laughing to so hard. Yeah. <laughs> he hit him hard enough to pass out or something. Uh-huh. 
Um, but yeah, everyone was just like, what just happened here? Yeah. Why did he do that? Is he throwing on purpose? Yeah. And even as the Lee Fengi was like, did he throw on purpose? Because he knew he couldn't win? Lee Fengi, who's that? The second sister. Second sister. Oh yeah, and then also, Lee Jingzi, um, Lee Lu's grandpa, there's, I forget, the lineage chief, the mountain ruling chief? Yeah. From the Dragon Bloodline, I, I forget his name. But, um, I think people were, like, asking him stuff. They were like, hey, what happened here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely embarrassing. Yeah, that was embarrassing. And then, so that was supposed to be the peak fight. It was a clown show. But it was hilarious. So, hey, you did your job. Yeah. And then we get the actual ultimate peak fight, which was Lee Luo versus the ninth scale, which what happens for the ninth scale, guys, is an incarnation of one of the previous... Dragon Heads comes out? Or is it only people who've gotten the nine scale? Um I think it's so, so what they said was to compete for the nine scale, they pick a random trial. Okay. And this trial happened to be alright, you're fighting against a previous dragon head. Okay. And I thought you have to fight a dragon head. And no, it just no. depends on how strong they are. No no no. This was just it was just a random trial. Oh, okay, okay. Like that's just one of the trials. I think there are other trials, but this is really? the one you got. I don't think it was like that. Yeah, that's what they said. They said, they said, we're picking a trial. I thought like they by that they meant they're picking like, a dragon head. No, though they're picking like the dragon head because I thought it was random. No, no, no. They said we're picking a trial, and then the trial was a fight against the previous dragon head. Mm. And then they picked obviously. Lo and behold, his father. His father. Luke first Darth Vader. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought, bro. <laughs> Um, and basically it records, like, they said 70%, so his father was a fourth, a fourth stage, uh, Heavenly Pearl. Mm -hmm. Heavenly, yeah. But in the energy file, he was second. And then... Who was third? Or who's within the top three? I thought they said he was a fourth stage. Oh, sorry, sorry. He had three, he originally had three pearls. What? They said he had four. I thought he had, no, no, this one for sure. He def he had three pearls. But they said, Lilo's father, right? Yeah. He had three pearls. Sorry, I was looking for something. And um, the like avatar that comes out as him only has like 70% of his strength. So they brought him down to two pearls. I thought he had four pearls. No, he had three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. He was brought down to two pearls. Mm -hmm. um, it was a cool fight, but it was kind of an ass pull because Lilo won. And I was, it was very quick. It was quick. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because the sword energy was just... They kind of just went straight at it. Yeah, because actually, he was losing. He was losing. They, they went Dukart for Dukart. And he was losing everything. Mm -hmm. And we found out his father was a badass. Oh, yeah. He was going crazy. And everyone who saw him was like, fuck, I don't want to remember how he beat me up when I was a kid. This whole Dragon Head um, banner challenge throughout the first, two, the first throughout the stages, like, Lee Luo, mm -hmm. like, like, after he beat the first stage, and then, like, him, like, beating, beating everybody in the second stage, all the old heads were like, oh, my God, we see a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> we're scared again. And then they saw Son versus Father, and they're just like, why are they just taking <laughs> the center stage, bro? That's what they else? hate it. Yeah, for real. He yeah. really oppressed these people. Bro. You know, he did, and now he's going to do it. His son's going to do it, uh, which is crazy. Father, son. There you go. Imagine. Could have had... They could have had three kings, because Tan, Talion, because she's stronger than... Oh, yeah, his mom, Lilo's yeah. mom. Yeah, I think, I think she'll still, they'll still become kings. Yeah, but that they go crazy. Yeah. And then, um, so we, Lilo gets his ninth scale. Yeah, well, he, he beat, um, the way he beat his father, he used the sword art, classic. Yeah. Sword art, that just cuts through everything. Oh, yeah, the sword art is, is it's very way OP. too OP, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Cause he's, it's only one. It's one sword art. I thought once he had, like... So they said he can get five. I thought once he had, like, two, it would be, like, a strong duke art, and, like, the first one would be, like, a regular duke art. I didn't think as soon as he got the first one, it's stronger than his already, like, his black dragon banner. It's stronger than his yeah. dragon Like, way dragon. stronger. It's, like, yeah. at least twice as strong. It's a one-hit. Yeah. One-hit kill. Yeah. Because, like, his father couldn't defend against it. Like, mm -hmm. um, in every clash, Lilo was losing. Until that, that one, one clash. Yeah. And that was enough to turn the tables. And I think of that. And obviously, his father's just energy. It's not sentient. I think if it was sentient, he would have not lost. Oh, for sure not. For sure. Like, 
Yeah. And we also kind of got a little... Lilo kind of got some info from his dad about how to use his heavenly dragon... Oh. Emperor bloodline. Yes, because the heavenly... Because his father had a heavenly dragon resonance. Oh, not the bloodline. Yeah, the resonance. The heavenly and dragon he resonance. A, he understood, like, that's why... Um, he was able to just... Cultivate Dukart so strong. Yeah. Because he had... Yeah, he, well, he brought it out... He brought out more power in the Dukarts. Yeah. Because he perfected... He the, got... The Hundred Fists. Yeah, the Hundred Fists on there. Yeah, to greater completion. Yeah. And he said, like... It's even more powerful than its grade because of how much... Uh, heavenly Resonance power he brings out of it. Mm-hmm. And I think Lee Luo had his Black Dragon banner at the little completion stage. Or minor completion stage. Yeah, what do they call it? It's, it's like minor... Or... Uh, minor completion and after this fight he like he or from this fight he learns how to like increase one his like cultivation and dragon resonance arts because mm-hmm. like make them like go faster kind of with the, um, the dragon resonance well they get stronger so. and they get stronger yeah because like bl- but i think they also cultivate it faster does it yeah because right after this battle they say that he cultivates a greater success oh okay so he's using bloodletting to like Cultivate, which yeah. sucks. Yeah. So they said he has to figure it out. I imagine he will. Oh yeah, because he had to stab himself. To yeah. Do it. But then he's like, I'll, I'll figure out how to do this better. He has a perfect bloodline. Yeah. So I feel like yeah. you're gonna do something. Maybe he's that, that guy. Maybe that's the Duke residence right there. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm, his dragon residence right now. Yeah, it's not heavily dragon though. I feel, they never said it wasn't. It's not. Well, then how was he able to use the power that his dad used? He's not. He, that's why he said he has to cut He has to cut himself. His father didn't. I thought the only reason he had to do that was because he wasn't able to do it as well as his father. No, no, no. So he had to do that because he can't do it like his father. Because ah. his father, the resonance in his blood uh, resonates with his resonance. Res- okay. His resonating resonance, bro. You are, you are. He cleared that up for me. Good. I was confused. You were, uh, <laughs> I didn't really understand that part. It kind of confused me. But he gets the nice scale after beating his dad. Fire fashion. And from the dragon head banner, a side quest was whoever will, became the dragon head banner also gets the sacred heart lotus. Is that what it's called? Yes, which was for Jin kyung a to fix her condition. Yep. And so Li Luo got it. He's, no. It's in his possession. Yep. And now he was just... Training, ready for the spiritual um, resonance. Okay, cave. so they said another. Just crazy. Another thing that you get for winning this battle. And I, this is another confusion I have, so maybe you can clear it up. Is that whoever wins the dragon head banner can go to the spiritual resonance cave, but I feel like is he the only one out of all the banner heads that's going? Because that's no. what they said. Like that was a He's reward. Not the only one. Okay, so that's why I was confused. So. No, the, the reward wasn't just to go to the... Oh, uh, it was the talisman. Yes, the okay. full talisman. So, if whoever wins the dragon head challenge and becomes a dragon head, yeah. in the spiritual resonance cave, they have these talisman, talismans that help you out. There's a bronze, a silver, and a gold. And basically, they help you get opportunities in the cave. Yeah. And for becoming the dragon head, you automatically get one. One golden talisman. Which, like, other people will only get, like, silver and bronze. And then we kind of got a little cultivation time for him to like consolidate his fiend finisher, mm-hmm. and then he goes. Li Luo goes to to fight the fiendish cave. Sixty yes. third layer. Oh yeah, so they they finally the Green Nether Hall has finally gotten their recognition back. They beat they beat the Gold Light Banner. He came first. He got the Pill Enlightenment, and or Pill of Enlightenment. Yeah. Pill of Enlightenment. Um, I feel like that was an asshole, bro. It was. It didn't even really work. No, 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 not the pill. The pill, little. The pill, I understand. I don't think it's an asshole. Yeah. I think the cave, there was an asshole, bro. I think there was oh. a little plot hole here. Tell me if you remember this. I didn't I didn't look into it because I read this shadow today at that time. I'm sorry, guys. But if I remember correctly, once the banner hits the 40th level, the whole banner head comes together for stages 40 and after. That's what I remember. Really? Yes. I thought I remember the possibility of it happening. I thought they said they had to after the 40th. Oh, I don't remember that. No? No. 
Because I could have sworn they said it was just... Because I remember... Maybe this is what I remember. At the beginning, they were at the green nether hall where he's from, where Lilu was from. He was like level 25. And dang Fixiao, I don't remember how to say his name exactly. He's in um he's in the Green Nether Hall, but he's like the outsider. He's in like layer twenty nine. And like Li Luo beats him to layer forty. Remember? And then like once layer forty hits, they have to like combine. Do you remember that? Or am I am I making that up? I, I remember them like meeting up in the cave, but I don't remember if like it had to be that way. I just remember them being like, Okay, people they're gonna yeah, converge with mm -hmm. one another. I thought they had to combine at, level, at layer 40. Like, all of the, the people. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe it was... Mm, I don't know. I think it was like that. Who knows? And then, I felt like... I thought, I thought that was... I thought that was a blow. Yeah. I'm not we'll, 100%. We'll, we'll get back. Because I understand because you're saying, like, they should have fought each other and then fought the thing, right? No, no. I'm saying at layer... Once layer 40 is... Because at layer 63, Li Luo is just his own banner. Like, yeah. his 8,000 people. But, like, I thought it was... And, like, they said, like, Dang, Fixia, and Li Jingtao, and Li Lingfeng were all outside, like, watching. Mm -hmm. And I was like, aren't they supposed to be with him? Because after stage 40, la layer 40, like, his whole banner is supposed to be in the layer with him. Oh, I don't think that's how that works. No? No, he is with his banner. But I meant, like, the whole banner. No, that's the whole. That's the whole lineage you're talking about. Ah, oh, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, yeah okay. They're their own banners. Okay. But together, the the four of them are one lineage. Ah, oh, okay. So he has his whole banner in yes, there. Yes, his whole banner is in there. Ah, I was thinking I misunderstood. I thought like all four together was like one bit. No. One big banner. No, no, no. Okay, so there's four banners. Oh, and with each each banner, there's like five squads. Yeah. That's what it was, and and then at layer forty. All five squads convene. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's confusing with all the banners. Yeah. Stuff, bro, because there's 20 of them, so you're not going to remember that. And so we get that. We get the Pillow Enlightenment. I thought it did a decent job. Because, like, it, it can't be as good as the Heavenly Lotus Throne. Yeah, that's true. It's a king stage item that, like, Lee Jingze said he had to, like, injure other kings for to, like, fight to the death for. Or I don't think anybody died. And then um, we also get some Dragon Guardian um action there some ho action some ho action and we get we get the dang can you say his name i feel like i've been messing dang up dang feng xian dang feng, feng xian yes like that. him you're, you're close <laughs> we found out or we don't find out for certain but it seems like pretty close he has not been any sort of trader i was thinking he was a reverse origin instance of trader i'm taking that back and it seems like um they're now putting one of the dragon guardians is putting pressure on him on being Dang guy. <laughs> and they're putting pressure on him to, like, in the spiritual residence cave, to, like, act against, not act against Li Luo, but, like, undermine him as much as possible. Yeah. So that he, like, doesn't get great rewards from it. Because, like, the greater Li Luo is, the more pressure, like, the outs like the outsiders in the Dragon Fang lineage are going to get. And he's going to have to make a choice in the spiritual residence cave. I think he makes the correct one, and... Whatever happens, ride or die. I think he's gonna ride or die. Help Lilua. Um, other oh, one happened? last thing. The spiritual resonance cave. They been hyping it up. They have been, and the hype is crazy. Literally, they said treasures to raise your resonance. Yeah, and resonance already, stage. Resonance stage. Go seven to eight, eight to nine. That's how crazy this is gonna this go. Is very, that, and remember, guys, that is huge. Because for regular people who can't upgrade their residence huge infinitely. For 99.99% .99 of people. Everybody except Li Luo and upper and ninth grade. Yeah. Um, residence. Yeah. Li Luo eventually could hit ninth. It'll just take a million years. Yeah. So, and like, remember guys, when upgrading your residence power stage, or your residence stage, people can, it's been, at least before, at the beginning of the novel, they said you can only really go up to like two more stages. Like, like two yeah, full stages. Be because of uh, the impurities, the impurities from taking all this sp uh, spiritual liquid. Yeah. And Li Luo is the only one that can take his from 1 to 9. Everybody yeah. else, if you're like at 6, you're never hitting 9. Yeah, you're lucky if you get 8. Yeah, so you gotta be like lowest 7, and then you'll potentially still be able to hit 9. Yeah. And that's still probably like not happening. Because yeah. it's also not like for sure you can do 2. I think some people are gonna, like after a while, like there's too many impurities, you're just not. So this is a huge, huge thing. 
Because uh, imagine, like, uh, we also got to remember, once you're at ninth stage, you got, like, your avatar, your resonance avatar, and that's, like, super strong. Because yeah. we, we saw it in Lee and Kenya's fight. She had two avatars when she had her dual ninth grade resonance stages. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, the spiritual resonance cave, I think... I think we're going to get a lot of information from it. We also found out it's a ruin, I believe. Yeah, from the Sacred Void sect. And we also find out that Lilo's father and his mom found a Sacred Void sect ruin. And that's probably why they were chased away from the Inner Divine Continent, which yeah. you said before. You called that. I did. You did. So, it was classic Shang No, You're right. You had that. And so we don't know why they were chased out. We also they said they can't. They also said they can't find that ruins again. It was been like it hasn't been uncovered again. So no, no, no. that's a foreshadow that it's gonna be uncovered again. I thought they said that they couldn't enter it again I, because they said kings usually can't enter. It. I thought they said they couldn't. I, they couldn't unearth it again. Like it's kind of been like in that area. They they can't find it. Anymore. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it's because because of the godly. Wheel four chart. Yeah, probably. Um, Lilo will find it. Yeah. Actually, there's two more things we uh, we didn't discuss. Oh. Uh, Ox Bow Bow. Oh, we missed him, bro. <laughs> we missed him. Oh, Ox Bow Bow. I love this guy. Yeah. So. The whole reason he was in the 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 True Devil place. Wow, yeah. we missed that. <laughs> so Ox Bow Bow, he recovered his bird freeze. And he became a seventh. Wait, 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 talk about the process, my man. The process doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah you see, there was a, a decision, a decision of a lifetime, man. Oh, actually, oh, you're right. So he had two choices: mm -hmm. recover your break freights, drop down a couple grades, probably fourth. Fourth. Never recover again because you probably won't hit six because it's too hard. Stuck at fourth the rest of your life. Or go for the fifty-fifty. Mm -hmm. Don't just recover your break freights. Go for seven. Go Come past your peak. Come on, upper grade Duke. And he was like, choice number two. Plus ultra. <laughs> and yeah, he recovered his, he's now back. He's a seventh grade Duke. And he became the Green Hall Master. The and, fifth one. Yep. And Lilo was like, they were like, what he had, what contribution is this? It's like protecting the previous Green Hall Master. Are you going to say he's not the Green Hall Master? And they were like, Damn, we can't say anything about yeah. that. So we, they pushed him through, mm -hmm. and now everyone can see, fuck the gold light banner. Yeah. We're not messing with you no more. Facts. The pro prodigal son is back. <laughs> the prodigal son, or I love that. Grandson, I guess. Uh, the, pro prodigal the prodigal son grandson. will return, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the prodigal grandson is in this place right now. Yeah. Um, that Ox Baba was huge. I loved him becoming a seventh grade duke. Now I feel like he's truly like. Oh, he's gonna go crazy! Yeah. I feel like I feel like he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna have a big. He's part gonna to see play. the king guy, the king, uh, bloodline, mm -hmm. and he's gonna be like, axe, axe, axe. I also will say because of Ox Baba, I already thought that like Lilo's parents were gonna come back very strong, but I think now seeing that Ox Baba was a seventh grade Duke, they're gonna come back. back at least eight or nine. Oh, I'm they're assuming back. nine. They're coming back, king. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, are coming you putting that kings. down, bro? That's your prediction. Yes. Coming back, kings. I'll say they come back as ninth grade Dukes then. They're fifth right now, which is interesting. They, they got. Oh, they were like ten years ago. No, remember when um, when they came out in the shadow thing? Oh, they said that when they left to the nobles' war, they were fifth grade. Am I remember that? It's either they left or they already were fifth. I think when they left, they were fifth. Because that, it could, that could be true because we. Because then there's not enough time for them to hit ninth or King between when we saw them yeah, there. They go crazy. They could go crazy. Well, they've already been in the Nobles Battlefield for 10 years, I believe. Yeah, actually, that's true. If they're only one, if they're only one Duke, maybe they wouldn't survive. Or yeah. maybe they would, but maybe they wouldn't get that strong. I think they were fifth when they left. Maybe. Yeah, and then they're going to be ninth when they come back. Duke. I mean, Kings. Kings? All right. That's a nice prediction. Yeah, I don't remember the other thing I was going to say. I feel like we missed something. Um... Oh, we get a couple of familiars coming back up for the Spiritual Resonance Cave. It's a, literally a battle start, guys. We're probably like a chapter away from it starting. Um, we're getting hyped up for it. We go King Yi, which is King King Leon, who... or Is it King? Is that how you say it? How do you say it? Q-I-N. 
How do you say that? Ken. Ken. So King, King Yi, who is the daughter of oh, King Leon. I was talking about that. And well, I'll get to the other thing yeah. you're thinking about. And then King Leon, King King Leon, is the mother who wanted Li Luo's dad and yeah. got spurned. And she basically says, when you meet Li Luo, get a pound of flesh. And then we have another little bombshell. It's not little, it's kind of big. We get the return of Lou Kinger, the OG, the first part of the harem. Not really, he doesn't even have a harem. It's not gonna happen. As much as I wanted to have like her but them both, yeah. it's probably not gonna happen. I also... I feel like it's... I think he gets both. Authors doing him dirty. I think he gets both. I don't think so just because... Drag Prince Yon, they should have. Oh, he did. Should he should have had? Oh, that Yowie Sue girl. On. No, Sue. Sue. Sue, Sue King? Yeah. Something like that. Sue Way or something. Yeah. Sue Way. Sue Way. Yeah. Hold the shit out. Of her. I felt so bad for her, bro. I was like, what was the point? Yeah. She was like, literally from chapter one. I was like, she was. It was all there. Yeah. And hold the shit out. Of her. Yeah. And then so we get Luke Kinger's return. We find out her origins. We remember. If you guys remember in the. Her mother is one of the the president of the Golden Dragon Bank. Vice president. No, she's the president. Oh, oh yeah, in that right here. Yeah, she's the president in the Jia Kingdom, and then the Golden Dragon Bank headquarters of the Inner Divine Continent. They have a headquarters, which is already like almost the top tier echelon of the Dragon Golden Dragon Bank. But then they have a higher echelon, which is the Golden Dragon Bank Mountain. That's the true core. That's the true core of the of the golden dragon bank which is known to be like spread its rules literally the whole continent it's inner and outer con inner divine continent and um we find out luke kinger's dad is from the mountain and oh no. those who possess the surname lou run this bitch <laughs> <laughs> Facts. and it kind of will make sense if she's like on the same power as lilu if she has that type of backing yeah, well, because we her father was mysterious till now, and it makes sense because she's that high up. Her yeah, and I imagine her mom. The the reason why they're separated is because of standing. Yeah, probably. Even though she's a duke, they they probably have like a king little standing at yeah. least. Right? Yeah. If you're marrying outside of the family, so family probably, type uh, stuff. But he's probably helping. That's why he's helping her from behind the scenes. Yeah. And that was, that was absolute resonance, bro. Yeah, I feel like we're still forgetting something. Yeah, we got everything on all the notes, bro. All the notes. Oh, yeah. Sacred Void Hour. Yeah, all of us on. We hit, oh, the last little tidbit. I don't know if this is it. We find out Lee Luo's official resonance stages. Is that what you're talking about? All right, well, I'll tell you anyways, guys. <laughs> uh, Lee Luo, his, so I know we kind of like, we weren't 100% sure. We got a little info drop. His water light is a lower eighth grade resonance stage. His earth wood, I believe. Wood earth. Wood earth is an upper seventh. And his dragon thunder is a lower seventh. That is as of right now before he goes to the lower, before he goes to the spiritual resonance cave. Yep. It's your last chance, bro. Bro, I cannot think of it. Nothing? I uh, hold myself. If I thought of it, I was like, two things. Uh, was it Dang Dang Fengxiao? No. The Reverse Originist too? No. Li Jingzi? No. The Variant Others? No. Li Jingtao? No. The Dragon Guardians? No. Oh, you're talking about that girl from the Dragon Guardians? That had no. a little no on her? She's not important enough. Okay, okay. Then I don't know. This is on a... Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Well... It's too late. Episode 33. <laughs> that was it. 33. Well, we got to decide what we're going to watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Read next, week. next week's reads. Oh, so sorry. No, I was supposed to say at the beginning. But at the beginning? Yeah, at the end? No, no, no. I was going to say because um, as of recently, I've made sure to um, every video, guys, I have the in the timetable that you'll see throughout the video. Every week, I'll have a section for next week's reads. So that if you don't enjoy the novels we're talking about on that episode, you can go look at what we're talking about next week so that you know if you want to tune in for next oh, week. Yeah, sure. I want to let you know. I will say it next time at the beginning of the video. Okay. But, um, yeah, so I always have a section that's called next week's reads so that they know what we're, what we're doing next week. And next week, it's a nice start week. It has to be. No, we're going to hit, like, I think we're going to have, like, 140 chapters. Yeah, oh, I can't I'm wait. so bro. hyped. It's the best weeks, bro. Yeah, for real. Because we're getting closer and closer. Yeah. 
And we, we just... Nice start's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I mean, let me not even get into it. Yeah, we do. Alright, that was episode 33, guys. Hey, guys. Biggest gamer. Adam Moore. Peace. Peace.